a former Fayette County Corrections officer faces jail time over the sexual abuse of an inmate. In tonight's LEX 18 Investigates follow-up, Lee Searcy talked to the victim who thinks more still needs to be done to better protect transgender inmates. I definitely feel like I've been um, vindicated a little bit. Last summer, Jamie Gray, who's transgender, says she was sexually assaulted by a guard at the Fayette County Detention Center. She says it happened in a private cell on the male side. That now former guard, Joshua Rogers, recently pled guilty to the original charge of third degree sodomy. He faces up to four years behind bars and also must register as a sex offender for 20 years. I just hope he learns a lesson from this and that he can take something away from this. Like, you know, um, I'm a person, I'm a human being, and what he did to me was not right. Gray believes because she's transgender, she was treated poorly to begin with by jail staff. I think that they should have put me in a cell by myself on the women's side and it wouldn't have been an issue. At the time of the incident, a city spokeswoman told us the jail does have a policy in place to protect transgender inmates from discrimination and said the jail studies all incidents involving officer discipline and dismissals. They have no policies regarding trans people that they enforce anyway. Um, I was literally thrown in with men and watched in the shower and um, it was ungodly and it was dehumanizing. Um, I was harassed by male correctional officers in there. And um, they really just need to like um, do some sort of retraining on how they treat LGBT people, specifically trans. We checked back with the city today and asked where transgender inmates are housed at the jail. Are they housed with other inmates of their current gender, their biological sex, or are they housed by themselves? The city said inmates are housed according to the gender on their government issued IDs. The jail's chief of corrections said in a statement, he believes the jail's policy and training are sound and that Rogers made a deliberate choice to break the law and was rightfully charged. Everybody deserves to be treated with respect. Um, and they definitely need to do some sort of like um, retraining just in general on how they treat LGBT people. Um, that way this won't be a reoccurring issue. In Lexington, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.